What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at how to force delete a file that cannot be deleted in Windows 10. Now this does happen from time to time where you get a file or a folder that you can't delete and it's pretty straightforward to do and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So let's take a look at this file here. When I go to delete it you'll see it just stays there like this and it can't be deleted and uh, this is a pretty common thing. So you can leave this running like this and it just won't be able to delete it. For some unknown reason, uh, this is now stopping it from being prepared for deletion to the recycle bin. So let me stop this and open up command prompt and run this as administrator. Go down the search and type CMD and run as administrator. This will open up the command prompt. And uh, what we need to do here is type in a simple command and this will allow us to delete that file. So type D el space forward slash uh, question mark and this will give you all of the little tiny switches you can use to uh, use so for instance forward slash p forward slash f forward slash s and so on and they do all different things so we're probably going to use the forward slash f that's false deleting of read only files you've also got um, delete sp uh, specific files or all directories if you do forward slash s so we're just going to type CLS and clear the screen and then we're going to type our command which is DEL space forward slash F and then we need to put in the path of the file that we're trying to delete. So in my case it's on the desktop so I'm going to type C colon backslash and then we're going to put in their users and then backslash and then the name of the user account which you're signed into. So whether that will be Brightech or Jim or John or whatever name you've got here for your user account that's what you need to use. My user account is called change me and I'm going to do change me backslash then desktop because that's where the file is then backslash and then the name of the file that you're trying to delete. So that's the path of the file that I've got here. So this is the file I'm going to delete when I push enter this will then delete that file. So I've got to push enter here and then just let it do its thing. It does take a bit of time so be patient and what it's going to do is allow us to delete that file. There you go, the file has now been gone. So that's the file been deleted and uh, we've just deleted a file that couldn't be deleted. Now there is ways of doing this with software which you can use if you wish and uh, for really stubborn ones and there's one called move on boot now move on boot is a pretty old program but it's pretty good at removing files on a reboot so basically you can put a tick in the box on the file you want to remove and then reboot the system and it will remove it now unlocker is another one that people like to use but the only problem I don't use it is because of the licensing there you can see it does have ad support so I choose not to use those types of programs. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Just a really quick video today. Hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you want any more help on this sort of stuff, you can join our Discord server. And I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.